What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Ferlini. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to give you a background story of why I went to Tennessee. A lot of you guys have been wondering why Ferlini did you go to Tennessee? Did you have family in Tennessee? Did you go visit something in Tennessee? So we're going to talk about that. Well, obviously you guys could probably see from the thumbnail. So there's two major reasons why someone like myself will go to Tennessee. I do not have family there. One, Tennessee, if you guys don't know, is known for whiskey. They are known for their moonshine. Must be 21 and over to drink, but they're known for whiskey. Of course, I had to pick up two jugs of those. We went to the Jack Daniels distillery down there near Nashville, Tennessee. So that was really cool. If you guys ever go down there, definitely check them out. As we went to Graceland, we went to Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, I did get this shirt. And you guys are like, what? Ferlini, you're an Elvis? Oh, fuck. You are a, a Elvis fan? All right, we gotta get to the, the bottom of this. So a lot of people don't know that Nashville, Tennessee is three hours away from Memphis, Tennessee. So even though we did stay in Nashville, Tennessee, we drove three hours to go to Memphis. Is it Graceland? We went to the King's home. And everybody's probably wondering, like, Ferlini, I didn't know you were an Elvis fan. So listen, I'm going to tell you the background story. And this is why I'm narrating this, because go to Graceland, they don't let you videotape anything up there. So I apologize for that. Have me, so I'm going to be narrating it for you. Of course, I'm not as great as John Stamos, who is actually the narrator of the whole tour of Graceland, which is bizarre, because it's funny because there's a lot of things behind the scenes so we're, i'm gonna get into like everything that goes behind the scene of graceland that a lot of people don't know if you've never went and visited so number one jesse on full house if you guys ever watched full house name was actually picked out by john stamos because he is such a huge elvis presley fan jesse was actually the name of elvis presley's twin and his twin actually passed away so first jesse was born and then elvis presley was born. That's where John Stamos is like, hey, I'm not going to use Elvis because I'm going to give it a tribute to Elvis. I'm going to tribute him by naming my character on Full House, Jesse. And he actually says this on the tour, which is freaking amazing. I think that we picked the perfect time to go on this tour because there was nobody there. Because of all the stuff that's going on, our tour was pretty private. There was nobody there. This is the perfect time if you guys are thinking of going. If you guys are thinking of going, it's about $72 for the regular tour, which is the one that we took. The other tour, the VIP, is when you go on his private jet, and that's where you go on the Lisa Marie. But as soon as you get in, you walk in, you see TCB everywhere. Now, I didn't understand what TCB meant, and the whole main reason that I went to Graceland was because of my mother. So since I was small, my mom had always talked about Elvis Presley. This is something that she has looked up, like looked up to this man for her whole life. And I kept hearing her say, I wanna go to Tennessee, I wanna go to Graceland, I wanna do this. And I definitely wanna say now that after I've been to Graceland, I had better understanding and appreciation for Elvis Presley. It's crazy because like, he lived in this shack. He lived in this home with his parents and his grandma, his mima, and he grew up in the ghetto in Mississippi, which is not too far from Memphis, Tennessee, and then he moved to Memphis, Tennessee. And Graceland was something that he purchased, I believe when he was 22 years old, and he purchased it for $100,000, which is... And they have kept Graceland so intact. Like, let's just say, like, they have all the receipts of everything that he ever purchased in the house. They have the keys to Graceland. They have the receipts of everything that he remodeled, the furniture, have his belongings in there. So if you are a huge Elvis Presley fan, you definitely should go. So yeah, we went because of my mom. She's like a huge Elvis Presley fan. So as soon as you get there, you see TCB and you see, actually, hold on. As you get to Graceland, you see this logo everywhere. And I was like, what the hell is TCB? Like, what, what does this mean and why does it have a, a, a lightning bolt, like a flash, right? Model is, and this acronym, stands for taking care of business in a flash. And he was saying TCB everywhere, we're taking care of business, taking care of business. Elvis owed everything to his parents. Younger people used to call him a mama boy and used to make fun of him and he was very shy. He was so shy. Like he used to talk about how he he had to dress so flamboyant and so out of his comfort zone in order for people to see him and, and so he can shine out. And he used to say that his image was one person but his other side of him was it's completely different. He had to keep up with this image. Satisfied with the image you've established? Well the image is one thing and a human being is another, you know. How close is the image to the man? It's 
it's, it's, it's very hard to live up to an image, I'll put it that way. And even though he was going through all this stuff on the side, like under, like that's why he used to hang out with a whole bunch of people and like groups, because these people were kind of be like his bodyguards for sake. His mom was actually somebody who didn't like the limelight. She did not like where Elvis was heading. And I guess she kind of knew what we see where he was heading like down that path. And that's something that was hurting her really a lot because like even when he went to war or he was drafted, he was there, his mom actually passed away while he was in the duty, which is really hard for him because he was really close to his mom. So his mom actually died at 46 years old, which is crazy because it's such a young age and she actually died of a heart attack. And that really affected Elvis and he realized that he needed to give back. So that's when he finally got out of the war and he decided, hey, I'm gonna go and continue my, my life. Start making public appearances again. I just missed it, I, I missed the... Uh... The, uh, the closeness of, a, of an audience, of a live audience. To do movies. All he wanted to do was sing and be himself. He actually created the genre of music and con that type of music before anyone else. And people would say that he stole this music. But the reason that Elvis Presley related so much to this type of music was because he had lived in the ghetto and he lived in this lifestyle where he was poor and he could relate to the people who are on the lower class because he was lower class. When you go to Grayson and you see a lot of celebrities' homes like now, they're like, glorious and they're so like huge so ex extravagant and they're just like tremendously big and then i feel like they're like out there when you go to graceland it's very subtle it's very humble it's very it feels like an actual home so for elvis it was a huge house but when you go now and you go to the, this the graceland you think in your mindset like hey it's gonna be like a huge house elvis was actually very humble and i've learned that on in the tour that he came from like nothing and it and you can definitely see it because like everything he had he would give back to his parents he bought his mom her first Cadillac which is the pink one that everyone ever knows I, we saw his car collection which was awesome they talk about his whole like upbringing and how he met actually Priscilla when he was in Germany. Yeah, I, I definitely got a different understanding and a perspective by going to Graceland. I'm definitely somebody who admires Elvis at this point because I didn't realize that he did all this for his family. Like all he wanted to do is take care of his family. He wanted to do his career and he wanted to basically be an inspiration to others that even though he came from the ghetto, he came from nothing, he was able to accomplish his dreams. And that's why I believe that he affected so many people in, in America and the United States because there's so many people who are in the lower class who are trying to inspire and just basically give back to their families and Elvis was able to do that and provide for his family. Vernon was actually told him like, hey, you can only do one thing. Like his dad kept trying to convince him to be an electrician and he spoke about that too on the tour and he was like, no, I'm not gonna be an electrician, I wanna be a singer. And Vernon's like, I don't know anybody who pay, can pay the bills with the guitar. Like, I think you should go back to being an electrician. And we actually went to Sun Records where he actually album his first songs. And that's, if you guys are not familiar with Sun Records, is where Johnny Cash, B.B. Uh, King, and all those famous artists recorded their first records in Memphis, Tennessee. So we actually went there to see, it was something that he always loved. His mom gave him a guitar when he was 11 years old and he t was self-taught. He taught himself how to play the, the guitar. They also have this room called the Jungle Room which is the living room so Elvis used to have his dinners here and his breakfast and he would sit here in this area this is the kitchen right here so this kitchen it's like I said it's very humble this is keep in mind that this was in the 1970s so there a lot of technology in the modern modern contemporary furniture wasn't around during this time so it's very 1970s uh, this was like his man cave. His man cave had three televisions, which he actually got because the president of the time inspired him to get the three televisions because he had all three networks on at the same time. So I was like, hey, I need that too. So he had the three televisions. So this is the area he would mostly hang out. And Lisa Marie actually said that this is the area she spent the most time with her father was in the basement in the man cave. And they also had this pool area, which is pretty cool because like if you see here in the images, you can actually see that the walls were actually made out of the walls were made out of cloth, which was like a fabric. Everywhere, even the ceiling had fabric cloth of this cloth. And on the corner, John Stamos says on the corner of the pool table that one of his friends tried to do a trick shot and he actually messed up so badly that he ruined Elvis's pool table. And Elvis was the type of guy that was one of those guys like when you go to a store and you want something or you see something that he had, let's say for example, if you wanted this ring that I have, 
he he was like, and you said that you liked it. He would take off his shirt off his back, the ring he had on his finger. He was like, you want it here? Keep it. I'll buy you whatever. So if he went to go buy a Cadillac that day and you came with him and you say, hey, I like that car, he would buy it for you too. He was always one of those people who was very giving and, and he loved people and he loved making them happy and he didn't care about the amount of money. Uh, we saw his pool area, which he actually built in Graceland. And a lot of people don't know that Graceland was actually named after the person who previous lived there, who I believe had a relative named Grace. So he just added the land at the end. So he named it Graceland. He created that whole fence that's outside. And every single time at six and seven o'clock PM, he would come outside. He would sign autographs, even though he wasn't on the clock, he would go down. Like I said, he was very humble and he used to go on his golf uh, cart and drive down and sign autographs for the his fans and to take pictures with them which is really awesome that he wouldn't be in the position that he's in without his fans and that's something that's definitely resonated with me because even his stepbrother when he became his security guard and he told people like to back away to leave him alone because he was tired Elvis took him to the side and was like, hey, I don't want you to talk to my fans like that. They are the reasons that we're, the reason that we are here today and we have to respect these people because without them, we have nothing. We don't have any of this. All of his family is buried at Graceland, so you get to see their got to see where Elvis Presley was buried. We saw where Gladys, his mother was buried, Vernon as well, and his grandmother. It was a great experience and I definitely recommend anybody who would want to go there to learn more about rock history and you just want to get a better perspective of Elvis Presley and just get into, kind of step into his shoes and just see where he's from is definitely something that I would recommend for anyone to go see because it definitely gives people motivation and it definitely gave me motivation for somebody myself just to see someone who came from nothing, from humble beginnings, being able to create something so legendary, even till today, we're in 2021, and like, we can, like, there's nobody, I feel like even internationally, you can say Elvis Presley, and nobody, they all know who you're talking about. He, that's how much of an impact this man had on our world and our society. It's just, it's just bizarre. So hopefully this video helped you guys see a, just a little bit, bit of a background of Elvis Presley and my experience at Graceland. I apologize that I couldn't film anything inside, but like I said before, they don't let you take any video footage and they don't let anybody film anything in there. They even check your equipment, they check everything before you walking in there and going into Graceland because they want to protect the image of Elvis and they want to keep everything copyrighted and pristine for anybody else who comes because remember this is still their home and this is somewhere where they come and visit so they don't want anyone to be basically exploiting the experience and just giving it out for anybody so this is just my interpretation and like my view of what happened in Graceland so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and give it a like if you guys learned anything new about Elvis Presley make sure you hit that subs subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys hopefully soon Peace.